Hello everybody, this is Charles Anderson. I'm just a guy from Goodwill, Oklahoma, and I uh, have a really great video game idea. And I was thinking, uh, why not use something called Monkey Engine? Well, J-Monkey Engine. Uh, I found this uh, little gem up on the web, and I'm really enamored of it. So, uh, to work with J-Monkey Engine, uh, you'll need to know Java. So, uh, before you can really have fun and let loose with the engine, uh, I'm going to go ahead and present a Java tutorial that uses JMonkey Engine. So, we're going to introduce Java today. Uh, my name, yep, there we are. Got my email address up, address up there, relic724 at gmail.com if you need to get hold of me. Uh, let's see here. Of course, we're going to start off with uh, the prerequisites for this. Uh, of course, to uh, get JMonkey Engine, let's see here. We, ah, there we are. Uh, have to head over to the site and come on. Oh, I guess I need to escape from full screen mode. All right, there we go. Yeesh. Ah, yes, J Monkey Engine website. Uh, there's a video here that that you can watch. It shows off some of what J Monkey can do. Pretty cool stuff. But uh, for J Monkey Engine, it's based off of Java, and of course you can go over to Java.com and download it. Now, because JMonkey Engine is bundled with its own uh, Java, uh, to develop in JMonkey Engine, you won't need Java. Now, to play the game outside of the JMonkey Engine, you will need Java. And you can even export your game as an executable into Windows. Uh, well, I'm a Windows user. Uh, it's really nice to have. So, those are the prerequisites. And next up, let's go back to our slideshow. So we're going to go set up a Hello World project. Uh, that's where we always start at in programming. And I'll show you how to start a project in JMonkey Engine and running a project in JMonkey Engine. So let's go first start off by, uh, here's my installed JMonkey Engine SDK. I'm going to fire it up. And there we are. Welcome to JMonkey Engine. Now, uh, this is the environment. Here's where you type in code at. Uh, here's where it talks to you. <laughs> well, types at you. And let's go ahead and start up a new project. Now, in the JME here, uh, you've got your game, uh, some tests for the Android, some tests for the gaming environment. Uh, now, you can go on ahead and, and uh, run these things. However, we're going to be learning Java. So let's go on ahead and choose Java application from the projects available. Now it's going to ask you to name it. So I'll just name this Beginner Java. Why not? And uh, let's see. Now I have already, one of the first things that you'll do is when you set up the uh, uh, JMonkey Engine, it's going to ask you where you want to put your projects at. And of course me, I just went on ahead and uh, created a JMonkey Engine projects folder in my uh, storage drive. And, you know, I've already got a, a couple of ones here where I've looked at different things. And let's go ahead, finish here. And now it goes through the scripting and stuff to create it. And now we have the uh, source packages and got a little folder here and here's our program. Uh, that is what makes this right here. Uh, this is a um, template that has been generated automatically courtesy of JMonkey Engine and this is a uh, package beginner Java. I'll go into packages later. We've got a public class beginner Java. It's the name that I typed in. Uh, I'll be going over classes and such later. Uh, and we've got one important line of code for every Java program, well, for any program really, there's got to be some place to start. Your program always starts here. Public, static, void, main. And string, uh, this is means that there's an array of string args. All of this I'll go into later. But, for now, we want to write something. So, let's do the standard hello world. For Java, it's system.out. And we're going to do print line. There we are. And we'll open up some braces, and all statements end in the semicolon. 
And let's put in a string, which is text. Hello, world. There we are. Now, we've got a fully fledged official program. And there's a play button right here. And you can see that F6 is the default for that. So I'm just going to hit F6 right now. And there it is. Hello, world. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Now, I'm going to go ahead and let's, let's uh, play with it a little bit here. In Java, there are things called variables, uh, flow control, proced uh, not procedures, methods, uh, classes, and, and such not. But let's play with something called variables. For a program to, pl to run, you've got to be able to ah, so what, put stuff in it, uh, be able to have stuff that you can play with. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a string, which is one of these things. And let's call it um, my string. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? I can call that equal to hello world. And then always got to remember semicolon. Now, a string is uh, a variable which can hold a string. <laughs> That's what it's called, that's what it is. And this is the guy that holds it. So here I can swap out my string and F6 to run it. Same thing coming out, but now we're able to put something in here that we create and it comes out just right. So uh, strings aren't the only thing that you can type out, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and put out a number. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a number. And let's set it equal to, uh, I don't need quotes or anything. Let's just put it to, what, 8. Why not? Eight. And you know what? I can change this around. Hello world number. OK. And I can go my number and running it. There's 8. And a cool thing about strings is that when you're printing out stuff or, or streaming stuff, you can have many things pumped through at the same time. So I'm going to what is called concatenate my string. My string will be first, followed by my number, and running it. Hello world number 8. There we go. Now, there's a lot of cool things uh, and when you have a program, especially a video game, you're going to need to be able to accept input uh, as well. Now for Java, uh, keyboard, mouse, that's one of the easier things to get a hold of. Stuff like controllers, uh, you've got to be able to listen on the right ports and, and uh, check with the devices that are registered with the system. But let's go ahead and work with the keyboard. and system.in. Now, all right, I need to do it as a scanner. That would be probably the best. Yes, a scanner. So here, a scanner is something that's not automatically in with a program. Uh, the system is automatically with every program, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the java.util.scanner. There we go. And then I'm going to take and make a scanner. And because a scanner is a class, I'm going to say I want a new scanner and system.in. There we go. Now, this doesn't do anything really by itself. Uh, it has to be work with other stuff. So instead of <laughs> instead of this, well, we can go ahead and leave that. Let's just add to it. Yeah, let's just add to it. OK, so mm, let's see. My string, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell my string that I want it to equal something that comes out of the scanner that I made, and I want 
Ooh, next line. That sounds good. Yeah. And this is a string, and this puts out a string. So I know that I can set this string that'll come out of here into that. And we go. And what it's going to do is it's going to read something, okay? And then we want to write it. Ooh, there we go. System dot out. Print line. Do do do. Oop, there we go. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll also concatenate uh, my string. And so what's going to happen is my string is going to change now. And when it prints out, it's going to do something different. So let's find out what that does. Uh, let's run it. And well, you can also press the play button. Hello, world number eight. Now, it's, it's not doing anything further. It's actually waiting for me to type in something. Uh, I know how to type. Yes. <laughs> and our program pulls it in and says, hey, yeah, yeah, I know how to type. There we go. So yes, programs can take in stuff, and programs can spit out stuff. Uh, ooh, uh, number. Let's, let's add another number. And let's make it to a simple calculator. My, <laughs> my other number. It, it, you know what? We don't even need to na say it needs to equal. we got to make sure it equals something before it gets down to the bottom. Otherwise, it'll just have a default value of 0. Uh, that's something that the compiler does. All right. So uh, let's say system dot out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go print Uh, ah, type in a number. Give it a space. Why is it? Why is it? Dead? There we go. And let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff. We don't really need it that much anymore. Boop. Okay, so type in a number, and then we'll say my number uh, dot oh wait no my number equals and let's use a, another function of my scanner to read in the next uh, integer which is a number there okay and then System dot out dot print. Uh, let's see. Let's add a number. That sounds good. And then my other number. <laughs> Next int. <clears throat> so now we are reading in a number, and we're putting out another number, and we can say uh, system dot out dot print. Oh, let's print line. Uh, let's see. They add up to, and now I can do this. Now watch this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to block off a little section of code. And I'm going to say my number plus my other number. Now what I'm doing is because I'm putting this in this brackets, it's going to add these two numbers together. 
And then, because this is all supposed to be a string, it's going to turn these numbers into a string, well, yeah, a string that can be added to this string. So I'm kind of cheating, but that's how it's wor going to work. That's why I have these braces right here, so that when I print out my number, it's going to look right, and it's not going to throw any errors. So let's play. Type in a number. All right, let's go with the number 4. Why not? Let's add a number. OK, uh, let's add 8. That sounds good. And they add up to 12. There we go. We've just made a simple calculator. Now, if I were to want to, I could also just go int added number. Yeah, that'll work. And then I can just do this. Added number. equals uh, my number plus my other number. And there we go. And then I can just replace this right here with added number. And when we play, it does the same thing. Uh, let's choose 3 and, I don't know, uh, 45. <laughs> and 48. There we are. Same same output, but of course we've changed the code up a little bit. So when you program, there's a lot of ways to get from point A to point B. However, there's one thing that we got to remember. When we're dealing with ourselves, we're only people. So if we get it wrong, eh, it's not going to work right. But at least once we understand the language better, uh, we can probably find out where we went wrong at easier. Now, also, users, you know, they uh, sometimes don't play by the rules that we're thinking. And usually, most of the time, it is an innocent mistake. For example, say I want to mess with my program. I'm not even putting in a number. Bang. The program no longer works. Uh, I will also be covering error exception where we check and make sure that uh, what we're supposed to be getting is what we're actually working with. And if not, then we say, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. try again. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty much that for this little bit of fun. Whoop. Let's see what else I got on my slides here. Yep, hello world. Uh, System.out.println prints a whole line. System.out.print prints part of a line. And system.in, well, that can be set with a scanner to read stuff into your program. And variables can be written in red this way. You can also mess with variables by just simply declaring them in your code, or adding them, subtracting them, multiplying, dividing them in code. Uh, that's pretty much uh, how, how it works with uh, programming. And this, Java, is just one of several languages. Uh, so this is for the JMonkey engine. And we're going to keep on handling. Next session, I'll probably be covering variables in more detail because, hey, those are the things we mess with, aren't they? Now, I'm Charles Anderson. And I'm an indie game developer. My project is Cityog. I'm on, I've got my email account. I'm on Twitter. I'm also over at the JMonkey Engine forum. So I'll see you there if I see you there. If not, hope you enjoyed the presentation, and have a good day.